is our um, our mother baby um, simulator. She actually births the baby, so um, she's actually set up to equipment. We actually place a, belly, a baby in her belly, so she actually has a nice big pregnant belly. Um, and we set her to a timer, and actually the baby um, actually slowly pushes out. We can actually set up fluids to make it real, like, like, uh, lifelike, can't talk, lifelike, so where she actually, everything comes out, like the baby and the fluid. This bed actually is set up just like a postpartum bed. It actually has stirrups, so we actually set her up like she's actually really birthing a baby. And we do actually put um, real life scenarios, we actually put blood on the baby and things like that. We usually have like an instructor speak for her and we actually have a crib that the baby goes in. So after actually after the baby comes out, this is our new baby. So we plan like the This is the guy that we use for all simulations and to show students um, how to take care of a real life patient. Um, this simulator actually breathes, blinks, it actually uses the restroom, it actually vomits, it sweats. Um, he talks, um, we can blow his pupils, we use him for everything from showing students how to intubate a patient to showing patient or students how to take vital signs, um, how to insert a catheter, how to um, do an assessment. Um, especially with assessments, he's really good because you can actually feel all of his pulses in his arms, his neck, and his legs. Um, we also use him to um, do trach care and to insert foleys and to do tube feeds. So anything that a student needs to know how to take care of a patient, we can do it on 3G Guy. He's actually also connected to this monitor. So we can actually crash him and make him better and they can learn how to um, read heart rhythms and know what plebs are, and we can actually hook him up where he's an ICU patient as well, and we can um, hook him up to a swan GANS. Um, he's also hooked up to an O2 detector, um, which is on his finger, and if it's not connected, it won't pick up. We can actually do blood pressures on him, because this is all touch screen, so the patient, or the students can take care of him by themselves. So all they have to do is actually touch it, and push start, and it'll actually bring up a blood pressure. Um, he's all controlled by, obviously, an instructor, and the instructor will actually make him better or worse depending upon what the student does. So it actually puts him in a real life scenario. Um, other fun things with him, he is connected to IV, so we can actually run fluids through him. They can actually hook an IV up, we can give him blood. Yeah, he's, he's really cool. So he'll breathe, we can feed, um, we can feed him his breathing, we can actually make him talk. <coughs> things we can also hook him up to a mic and actually have the instructors talk for him so we can actually hook up to a mic he actually does come with a webcam as well so we can actually tape him like while the students are doing stuff and then we can actually show it in another room